my blow up. All right, guys, so today uh, we're going to go look at a dozer that I got a lead on uh, from one of my buddies. Uh, it was owned by a gravel company, and it, I guess, they just left it out there, and they never went and got it, and it's been sitting in the bush ever since. Um, but anyway, so we're into late spring already, almost summer. Um, we've probably got some spraying to do eventually, and the reason why I want to do this, I want to get this uh, dozer, is because I need something to build that uh, new restoration shop with. I need something to tear down trees, flatten out ground, pretty much everything. And uh, the way that uh, my buddy was talking about this dozer, it's going to be what we need to do that also i am currently heading to uh where there was an auction about two days ago i went and picked up a flat deck trailer so uh we can bring new uh projects home make it a bit easier than uh, just a flat deck in a truck so it's gonna make it just a bit easier and uh okay no cop no stop boys anyway it's gonna make it a bit easier to uh bring bigger projects home for the future all right so there's the flat deck i'm I guess we were the last people here to pick up their stuff. So, uh, yeah, there she is. All right, so I got the trailer hooked up here, and we're just going to be heading right out to the site of that bulldozer. Um, I got all the tools in the back of the truck here, so we all are good for any tools or jumper cables or pretty much anything we're going to need. I even got some diesel in the back there for us, so I want to get this thing out of there today if it's even possible. I want to go look at it for sure. If uh, And if it's not possible to get it out, I at least want to give it my best try. And then as well today, if we get some time i would like to possibly do some uh spraying as well i know i want to get some of that done while we have the chance but if you guys are enjoying this series please do drop a like it really helps out the videos you guys have been loving the restoration kind of series here that i've been doing for you guys you guys are loving the restoration series that i've been doing for you guys um and i love making the videos and it's super fun so uh if you guys do enjoy them smash light all right so we're just gonna be heading down this uh dirt road here to get where we're going it's actually pretty far in the bush um it's it's a good 45 minutes from where i live so uh it's gonna take a while to get there but uh, it shouldn't take too long because we have a pretty darn fast truck all right so we're still currently on the we got back onto a highway here but uh it's a pretty rough one but we're slowly starting to head into the bush here as far as i know we're going to be hitting another dirt road that's uh it's going to take us to this gravel pit area but man these uh hills are going to be hard on this truck that's for sure all right so we seem to be able to get over most of those hills i think we got over the worst of it for sure i think our turn is right up here to uh get to this yep here it is and then uh that's going to be off the beaten that's going to be on the beaten path, I guess. That's going to be crazy. Oh, here we go. All right, I'm looking at a clearing here, and I'm assuming this is going to be the gravel pit uh, to where this dozer is supposed to be at. I'm not 100% sure where it's at. Oh, I see something right there, right out of the blue. Oh, boy, that's a bit of a steep hill. Easy does it. Don't want to be going too fast. All right, I think we I think we got it. But I even see something right out of the blue there because there's not too many bushes here, so it's pretty darn easy to see. And it's that dozer, of course. All right, um, I think I'm just going to park my truck right kind of here, and I'll shut it off here, and then uh, we're going to go run over to this dozer and see what... All right, so, oh, man, this thing is... Okay, this thing's beat up, but... Okay, okay, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Shut the doors, make sure that all works. All right... It's looking pretty good. Like, I, I, there's no way this thing is ever going to start. So, obviously, there's no point in even trying until I get some, uh, until I brought a new battery along with me. So, I'm going to have to stick that in there for sure. Before we even remotely try to, uh, start it here, I just want to check the diesel, see if there's any in it. Note, this thing was drained to diesel. So, uh, we're going to be grabbing some diesel and a new battery. And I, I don't think we need anything else. I'll check the oil in it here quick. All right, so oil's good. Now, I have no idea what year or what make or model this thing is. I have legit no idea. The guy, my buddy, didn't tell me at all anything. So I know the owners of the gravel pit here, so I guess they just left this thing here. And it, it hasn't ran in a good couple of years. So uh, obviously because trees are starting to grow around it and stuff. So I guess we'll uh, grab some diesel and... A battery and we'll see if we can get this thing running all right so i'm just coming back from the truck with the diesel and the battery here so we'll uh just get this stuff installed here all right so diesel and battery are in there now so uh i guess I, only thing to try is well oil's good on it so i guess uh let's see if we can start it up here all right lights coming on for starting okay that's good oh 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 
No, not quite. So if you guys don't know what, I don't even know what that, what that little start. I wonder if that's like a, a pre-starter to start the engine. I have no idea, guys. Never heard of one of those before. Let's see. Let's try it again. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. There we go. We got her running, boys. We got her running. That must... I don't even know how long this thing sat for. Oh, man. I can't believe we've got this thing running. Oh, this is so awesome. All right. So... My question is, are we going to be able to drive this thing back? Okay, so these branches, these uh, little saplings here, they shouldn't be an issue. So I'm wondering, I, I think I can move this thing. I guess I'll have to give it a try here, but I should be able to just back it up here and then turn it and then get it out of here. So I guess let's give that a try. All right, so I'm just going to keep the doors open because I want to know if there's any sounds or anything that this thing's going to make that I need to know about. All right, let's, um, let's try to lift the blade up. Okay, looks like we're good. I ch also checked the hydraulic fluid in it. It's It still seems to be good. Alright, um, let's see if we can back it up here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, I think we got it free. Are we, are we good? Alright, we're good, boys. We got her out. We got her running. Oh, man, the, the controls are a little stiff, but that's, um, that's a given. I can't believe we got this thing running. 20 minutes of work and we got it running this is crazy and it is driving like smoothly like it's not rough it's not doesn't have they must have left this thing in pretty good condition it doesn't sound the greatest but you know what this thing is cool I I wonder if the headlights work all right uh, where's the switch for that right there oh I can see them I can see them they do work oh yeah oh yeah Dude, this, they must have left this thing in mint condition. Like, it's its obviously worn out and rusted, but... Alright, um... So, let's see if we can unfold the ramps on this trailer. And, uh, we'll get this thing loaded up here. Alright, so we got the ramp unfolded here. And we're gonna see if we can get this thing on. Hopefully we don't have any issues. Okay, I think... I think we should be good. I think we're lined up. Alright, I think we're... We should be lined up here. Oh, yeah, there we go. We're getting there. I'm wondering if I should just leave. Yeah, right here should be good. Let's lower the blade down. All right, I think, I think I'm think i okay to shut it off. I mean, it has a new battery and everything, so we should be good. All right, we got her loaded up here. I'll just clip these doors here because they don't actually latch. It was just something I just figured out here. So that's maybe why they left them open or they just flew open. Okay, so that one's latched. That one's, well, they, they can't latch, but they can latch on the outside. So, okay. This thing is definitely rusty, but, um, it seems to be seems to want to work so we'll just quick strap it down here I'll throw a couple straps on the tracks that way we're not gonna have any issues okay I'll throw a strap on the blade and I'll throw a strap back here all right so we should be good to go I'm gonna get the ramp folded up for this thing and uh, we'll get going all right so ramp is folded up so we're gonna start up our truck here and uh, we're gonna get going out here we got about a 45 minute drive back to uh, the farm so we're gonna see if we have any problems which we shouldn't but it's very possible oh she's struggling getting up the hill but uh, we got her well uh, time to go back home we got the dozer we got what we needed we out all right we pull them back in here so uh, basically with this dozer the plan is, is I need to do a little more work on it just to grease everything up before we really get working with it um, but I'm gonna be knocking out a lot of trees smoothing out some ground basically so we can uh, Put our restoration shop down there but yeah we got her home it's looking good looking good I think it's like a Russian Russian kind of dozer I, I don't know I have no idea I've never seen this brand or anything before but anyway that's where we're gonna be able to be uh, kind of building the restoration shop there and then uh, we're gonna be doing a lot more stuff with the restoration but uh, actually I'll show you guys something quick here. We got the Matthew Ferguson loader here. I want to jump in her, and I wanted to save this first start for the camera. I got everything, so it should start. I'm not 100% sure, but we're, we're going to see if it'll start. Come on. There we go. First start for the camera. Oh, yeah. Pretty darn cool. Pretty darn cool. Yeah. 
But the cool thing is with this is you can get on in on either side, which is really cool. All right, let, let's. I want to test her out. Okay, hydraulic. I had to replace a couple hydraulics hoses. It's still a little bit weak. For I, I might need to do some tuning on the hydraulics here. But I think we're pretty much good because this thing's awesome. Lots of fun with this thing. We can do donuts with this thing. It's gonna be a cool little uh, vehicle we can do stuff around the farm with. Um, probably unload some spray pellets, pretty much whatever we need to do. Um, I'm gonna get to get a set of pellet forks for it, which actually, no, I left them. I left them at the logging site, so I'm gonna have to go get them at some point. But anyway, uh, that is the Massey Ferguson up and running, good to go for uh, future use. But anyway, we're gonna be dropping the flat deck here, and we're gonna be getting our spray trailer because we need to do some spraying today. Uh, I don't really want to leave that till uh, later because we got a lot of it to do. Actually, not really a lot per se, but just I want to get it done is the kind of the idea behind it. So uh, we're going to be hooking up to the spray trailer here. Um, we'll get our hook filled up with spray, and then uh, we'll get the tear gator out there. Backing on up. Just about. There we go. Got her. All right, so we got the spray trailer fully filled up here. I'm just going to pull it kind of along this quad set here, and then we can uh, fill it up. I got uh, the spray mixed, so that's all good. Basically, we just need it if we need to uh, mix some spray and all that fun stuff. So we're going to jump in our tear gator here and get going. Now, this thing is a bit of a pain to maneuver out of a shed. Let's go uh, fill up with some spray here. Never mind, it's the other side that we got to fill up with spray. All right, here we go. That should be better. All right, so we got the sprayer filled up with spray here. Uh, I didn't fill it up all the way just because I don't think we need it, or at least need that much. So uh, I'm going to head out to the field here, and I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, so we're just pulling up to the field here, and uh, we're going to get the sprayer unfolded. Now, it's probably not the best to be going across this with floater tires, but uh, the crop is still just not old enough that it's going to break yet, so uh, I'm not very worried about it. All right, let's get it. Hey, you really cruise with this thing while spraying. It's perfect. It's not going to take long to get this one done for sure. All right, so we just got the last little bit left here. Not too much, and then uh, that field's going to be finished, and then we got probably one more, but I think we're going to finish that a different day. All right, we're done, so we're just going to fold up the sprayer here, and I think I'm just going to pull it off to the side of the field. Actually, I might be able to just go right through these trees here. I might not even have to pull it off to the side of the field. I'm just going to go right through these trees. All right, there we go. Just right through the trees. Perfect. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the episode for today. If you did enjoy, smash that like button, and subscribe if you're new. I know a lot of you guys aren't subscribed that are watching the new content, so if you guys do like what you see... Please do consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, we got this dozer. Super excited for it. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff with this one as well as starting up that restoration shop. So uh, stay tuned for that. And I will see y'all in the next one.